What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, this is uh, week four's reading for sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I did get two channeled in as I was meditating on your week four energy, and I'll share them in a second. But I want to say real quick, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Um, we have we have almost 9,000 subscribers right now. Um, so thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. Every like, subscribe, share, unlike, um, and every donation to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. Um, so yeah. So, um, the two channels I received as I was meditating on your uh, week four energy was um, a bad investment was the first one. I heard a bad investment. And then I heard um, Libra, Capricorn, and there was another one, Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, and Pisces. A bad investment, Libra, Capricorn, and Pisces. So maybe you went into a bad investment with a Libra, a Capricorn, and a Pisces, or a Libra, Capricorn, and a Pisces influenced you into a bad investment, or, or a Libra, Capricorn, and a Pisces made a bad investment. It doesn't necessarily have to be you making a bad investment, if that resonates with you. Um, but some kind of bad investment energy, and it involves a Libra, a Capricorn, and a Pisces. It could be a masculine or a femme, Libra, Capricorn, or Pisces. Um, you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, you uh, and Gemini, and Gemini, okay, so Libra, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini. Um, like I said, those people could be making bad investments, or they could have drug you into a bad investment, or um, you made a bad investment, and those people are helping you get out of it, or... However, that resonates. I feel it could resonate a million different ways. So you plug it in, how that resonates. And then there was one more. Oh, crap. I forget. Hold on. Give me a second. Crap, man. I hate when that happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard um, child custody battle. That's what I heard. That was the second one. So child custody battle. So that could be you going through a child custody battle either current or about upcoming or recent past or somebody you're connected to going through a current uh, a child custody battle, current, upcoming, or recent past. However that resonates in your life, you take it how it resonates. So some kind of bad investment energy, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to and something about a child custody battle, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Wars. So high priestess reversed, strength reversed, the chariot reversed. Holy crap. A lot of major arcanas. Two major arcanas, strength reversed, chariot reversed. Then you have the high priestess reversed. A Taurus is about to be questioned about stolen money. Finally. And a Taurus is about to question a Taurus about stolen money. Finally. Oh, okay. So, wow. Heavy torn energy, double torn energy. You plug it in how it resonates. Freemasons is what I just heard. Freemasons. Okay, so you could be a Freemason or you could be dealing with a Freemason. Um, however that resonates, I heard Freemason. So maybe a Freemason's being questioned about maybe they stole stolen money. 
they stole money or you are a Freemason and you're questioning another Thorn about some um, them that stole money, you plug it in how it resonates. But um, I feel one of you guys at least is in the Freemasons in some shape or fashion. I heard Freemasons. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit, whether you are a Freemason and you're questioning somebody about uh, apparently another Thorn that stole money. Finally, I heard. Or you are a Freemason and you're getting questioned about money you stole. However, that resonates. High Priestess reversed. Um, did, I'm feeling impulsive energy of stealing this money. Whoever this is, this torn that stole money, they're going to be weak when they're questioned about the money they stole. They're going to feel stuck when they're questioned about the money they stole. That's what the torn that stole money. Now, there is a torn in here, apparently, that is going to question another torn about stolen money. So if that resonates with you, I feel... Um, maybe your intuition was off about who had really had the money in the past. You're going to feel, you're going to feel weak when you find out really who really has it or information on who really has it. Cycles are stuck right now because the wrong person has, um, the stolen money. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates and it's stolen because we're not supposed to have it. So for some, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer. If you are, they could have Leo or Cancer in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, because this is Leo and Cancer, Cancerian energy. You plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have for the sign of Taurus. House arrest coming for one. Jail and then prison for several. Oh, my Lord. Dear God. I wonder if one of you guys work in, um, I do pull in a dirty cop porn. I do from time to time. But I wonder if a light side porn, if you work in um, the legal sector. I mean, not the legal. I'm sorry. Not legal. A law enforcement sector. If you work in the law enforcement sector and you're light side. Like an investigator or a police officer or um, or governmental entity agency energy on the law enforcement side, possibly like FBI, CIA, marshals, or something like that. Because I heard house arrest um, for one at least one person and jail and in prison for several. So um, I wonder if you're the one of the ones that cracked um, the Secret Seven Texas. Is what I'm wondering for at least one of you guys. I feel you might be one of you guys touring. I pull in. I feel you might be one of the ones that cracked Secret Seven Texas. Possibly. Possibly. But you plug it in however it resonates. Five of Pentacles upright. Five of Wands upright. A Torrin is getting huge backlash because people realize they gave the wrong person reward money. This Torrin is about to amend it in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a Torrin um, is getting huge backlash because they um, basically gave the wrong person reward money. Um, but I heard basically um, uh, you're about to amend it, Taurus. If this resonates with you, you're about to amend it. So people realize you gave the wrong person some kind of reward money in some shape, form, or fashion. I strongly feel you might be the one that um, got the recognition and reward and high honor and all that for the Secret Seven Texas, possibly. Um, but you plug it in your life out bits, whether you are or aren't. But and however it resonates in your life. But however it resonates, resonates in your life, basically, you gave the wrong person some kind of reward money, but many people know you did. Um, you're facing backlash, but I heard you're about to amend it soon. So Five of Pentacles Upright is the energy of the person that the wrong person, well, you gave the wrong person reward money. So the person that's supposed to have it, they're out left out in the cold financially because you didn't give them the money. You gave the other person the money. Five of Wands Upright, this is the backlash, conflict, energy coming at you because the wrong person has the money and people know it, basically.
spirit messages do you have for Son of Taurus? Ace of Cups reverse, two of Pentacles upright. A particular Taurus has so many children's parents that it's hard to date around. They find it very frustrating because of all the drama. Oh my God, Taurus. Woo, what is going on in here? So if this resonates with you, I heard you uh, find it hard to date around because you have so many children's parents. So if this resonates with you, you might, I don't, um, I'm assuming like many baby mamas or many baby daddies, or you have, you know, like five ex spouses or however that plays in your life. But many, if it is spouses, they have children with you. I'll tell you that. But many, um, children's parents, whether you were legally married to them, or not, whether you were actually in relationships with them or not, you have many children's parents. And I heard it's basically a lot of drama with these children's parents. So it's hard for you to date around and find a good, reasonable, respectable person to actually be a stable, committed part of, in your life because you've got so much drama from baby mama, baby daddy, or ex-spouse energy. Um, that's why I like to keep it text message only with my ex-husband personally, because uh, I don't like the drama. I don't, but um, this is, I'm sorry for whoever this is for. This is crazy. Juggling the baby mamas, baby daddies, or ex-spouses, or ex-relationships, ex-partner energy. This is you um, having trouble dating because I think whoever, you might, I'm sure you might be attractive and I'm sure you can um, manifest people in, but the problem is, is once you manifest them in, I'm feeling for whoever this is for. Once you manifest them in, I don't think it's your looks. I don't think it's your personality. I don't think it's um, you. I think it's the problem is is once you get manifest them in, they see all the back end stuff and they don't want to be a part of all that. That's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have to sign for us. An item about to be repoed soon. Okay. I heard an item about to be repoed soon. So that could be an item of yours being repoed soon or somebody you're connected to's item about to be repoed soon. Um, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to. But sometimes it's somebody, either you or somebody you're connected to, somebody, it sounds like an item of theirs or yours. However that resonates. Um, is about to be repoed soon. Repo is repossessed. So meaning you're not paying the payments or they're not paying the payments. Somebody's not paying the payments on something and it's about to be repossessed. I automatically think of like a vehicle or I think of a vehicle or like an ATV or a motorcycle or something of that nature. Um, it, I mean, yeah, that's what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. It could also be property, but that's more foreclosure. I heard repossessed. So it could be possible property if they're not paying their mortgage payments or what have you, possibly. Four pinnacles upright, six of cups reversed. A Taurus has a very greedy, selfish person in their life. Some, several greedy, selfish people. Huge energy and money succubuses. They have not cleared these people out of their life. They're going to continue to take advantage of you. Know this if you don't do something about it. Oh my goodness. Oh. So you plug it in how that resonates, Taurus. Man, this is heavy. 
Do you plug it in? How it resonates? So if this resonates with you, some of you, some of you, it sounds like you have one greedy, selfish person in your life, some two plus. But however that resonates in, in your life, however it plugs in, because you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, they're very greedy and selfish. I heard from spirit. So they, um, they're energy succubuses and money succubuses. So they're around you for your good energy to suck off your energy and your money. So they ask you for money or they just take money. They don't pay you back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I heard basically whoever this is for, you haven't, I think you're highly intuitive and you have identified these people in your life and you know about them, but you basically refuse to clear them out of your life. Um, whoever this is for, I feel these are people you can clear out of your life. I don't feel it's actually people you're legally binded to like child support or a legal binding marriage contract. Um, I just want to say, I feel it's people you can clear out, um, but it's like you choose not to. You choose not to. You just choose to do it. Um, and I heard basically um, it's going to continue to happen unless you make changes to make it happen. So this is them being very greedy. They know what they're doing to you. You're unhappy because they're doing it to you. But in all fairness, you continue to let the cycle continue, if that resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A wonderful trip soon. Sexy lingerie. Lotion. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a wonderful trip soon. Sexy lingerie and lotion. So that could be you planning a wonderful trip for somebody you're connected to. Somebody's about to get some less sexy lingerie, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Something about some lotion. So that might tie in with the sexy lingerie, possibly for some, just saying, or not. All right. I love you guys. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.